Hi, I'm Sebastian. This is my first tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to render this cool photorealistic chrome material in Blender. I'm also going to be showing you how to do some HDR lighting, or as close to it as Blender can do. But uh, nevertheless, it's it's cool. It looks good. Uh, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do: create a new scene, obviously. Okay. Delete the default cube, and I'm going to add a Suzanne monkey head. Then I'm going to go into the right view, uh, hit 5 for orthographic. Then I'm going to go R X minus 45. And then I'm going to go G Z and S almost right. G Alt H actually hit it. G Z. There we go. That's good. Now I'm going to add a plane. Shift A S. So there we go. Then we're going to go into the front view. Control Alt Zero to position our camera in the front. And uh, that's actually really good. Okay. Um, and we're going to add a subserve for our Suzanne monkey head. Uh, that's good too. All right. Um, we're almost set up as far as our scene. So we go E Z zero and uh, okay. Then we're going to add a subsurf for our plane, and we should be fine. We we'll go back into our tab and. Uh, yeah, as you can see, our plane is overlapping our monkey a bit, and uh, fix it easily just by going control R, adding a loop cut, positioning it behind the monkey, and then it's not overlapping anymore. Uh, there we go. Now uh, I like to add a couple extra things in my test scenes, so bear with me. We are almost ready. Six, shift A mesh, UV sphere, GX. And that's fine, smooth. Subsurf 2, shift A mesh, torus, GX, ID, GZ, and uh, and a subsurf set to 2, and smooth, shift D. Oh, I would be done on. Y ninety S there we go and then I'm gonna select both of them, hit control J and that'll make them one object. Now on to the materials. Fun 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 fun. Um I'm going to name it chrome, obviously. Obviously because a chrome material. Uh, turn off the specular because we're not we don't really need it. Um, some people leave the specular on, that makes it look kind of matted and ugly. Um, Hit Ray Marrier, turn it to 100%. Go to gl the gloss, do 0.9. And um, in the samples, I'm going to do 50. You should probably do more to make it a nicer reflection. But um, that's actually, uh, it is for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to do 50 samples. It still looks okay. You'll, 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 you'll see just fine. Uh, add Chrome to both of our objects. And um, one of the most important things so that we get some, so we get nice transparent shadows is to turn on ambient occlusion. Then set it to set the factor to 0.6. Um, go to seven also and position our light. There are some easy default light. We don't need anything fancy. Uh, okay. Um, in case you're wondering, by the way, every time I uh, go back to the camera, I'm just hitting zero. And uh, yes, yeah, useful. Um, now in the light settings, I'm just going to turn the samples to 6, and the inclusion should take care of the rest, and set it to, set the soft size to 2, and that should be just fine. Now we're going to render it out. Okay, and uh, I've rendered it out, and now you can see it's, it's pretty good, like we're getting some nice reflectivity in the ear over here, but, um, over here on the face, we're not getting anything for the eyebrows, and also, I'm pretty sure the head looks invisible on the top of the head. 
and uh, there's lots of gray, ugly stuff. And this is where the HDR lighting comes in. So that's what we're going to get started on now. Um, actually, right before we do that, um, just the thing with Chrome, you should always add some light panels. Light panels always work with Chrome. I'm just going to add a bit more depth to our scene. So what I'm going to do is add a new plane, as, of, as you can see. Rotate it on the x-axis 45 degrees, and then just position it so that the Suzanne will reflect it, as will these guys. Mainly the Suzanne, though, that's what we're aiming for. Yes, Z, scale down the z-axis a bit. There we go, let's see. And now scale up on the x by a lot. That's uh, that's pretty good. And now we're gonna add a material, and we're gonna call it light panel. And uh, that's that's fine. Turn the specular off. You don't need it. And turn the emit to five because that's a good value. Um, and uh, next time we render it, it's gonna look a lot better. But before we do that, we're gonna add our HDR lighting setup. So we're gonna go into the world. This is one we can do, and then go to texture and then it'll automatically be in the world. Isn't that nice? Because I'm too lazy to just click the swatches. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to add a new one. Set the texture to image or movie. Open it. And uh, you now you have to find your panoramic or HDR. I have an HDR from the Bullet Collection uh, you know, video co-pilot. You might know them. Uh, they have a, a tutorial collection called the Bullet. And it works really well. Here it is, the reflections. And use the street HDR plug. Anyways, you can get any panoramic, any HDR, and it'll it should work just fine. Um one quick tip though, if you're gonna get one, try and get one that's blurred, because blur seems to uh, work pretty well for Chrome. Um now if you go back to your world or go uh, or do text or hit both, you're gonna notice that it's grey and the world is grey. So um it's it's not it's not working obviously. And the reason is we don't have it set for horizon. It blend is set, but horizon isn't. Curious, what happens if I don't have blend? It doesn't do anything. Because a blend doesn't seem to do anything. Um, but horizon, zenith, zenith, they do do something. So just take off blender, blend, horizon, and zenith, zenith, and then you should be good. And uh, I'm gonna render it out and hope for the best. Okay, now I've finished rendering it, and it uh, it looks pretty good, but there are still just a few problems. We're almost done, don't worry, but there are still just a few problems. First, uh, this head back here is still basically transparent on the, our background, and this, you know, we're, we're just getting too much reflectivity, obviously. And uh, we're not going to turn the reflectivity down, but I'm going to go into the Materials tab, and uh, go up to our Sky. And um, let's just turn it a shade downward. And that looks just fine. And now, when we render it again, it's going to be fine. But uh, really quickly, I just want to set it up uh, so that the monkey's gold may be a bit bigger transformed. So it might seem a bit more. Sorry, just noticed some things while I was. Rendering it, and I'm just I decided to just waste your time even more than I already have. <laughs> um, uh, so zero, there we go. And uh, done. That's even. Just ground. And that's, uh, yeah, that was good. Um, okay, so another thing I'm going to do to make this one gold is I'm going to set this to chrome 001. Then also make this one chrome 001. And then for this one, now that it's its own material, I can go over here and make it a goldish color. And that's going to work quite well. Uh, just so that we don't 
of this organization, you know. Oh well. Do a final render and um, I'll see you there. Okay, and we are finished. I think this looks pretty damn good. Um, as you can see, since we turned the shade down, you can see the head again, and this is nicer. Um, also, turning the shade down makes the gold a bit more. Be harsh, I suppose you could say, but it, it looks nice, and uh, yeah, so I hope yours looks as good as mine, I think, does. <laughs> I hope you do too. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I might say like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching.